Okay, gals and guys, in this video we're going to talk about uh, turn signal wiring. This is one of the most common questions I get that uh, and what oil I should use and what gas I should use. So I'm going to make a video on both of those. Uh, I think the confusion comes in when people start changing out their uh, stock turn signals for aftermarket turn signals. Uh, they wind up buying the wrong lights for the wrong end. If you're replacing the rear of your motorcycle turn signals, you need two wire uh, turn signals. Uh, you can use the three wire, but uh, you're only going to be using two of the three wires. A two wire turn signal activates one filament in that bulb and that's it. The other wire is for a ground. Uh, because on the rear of a motorcycle, the only thing, I believe I got enough wiring for this to, the only thing should come on when you turn that key on is the tag light and the driving light or parking light, if you want to call it that. We don't really park a motorcycle, but uh, the driving light. Neither one of your rear turn signals should come on. That bright light's coming from that LED uh, headlight that I'm installing on this uh, V-Star 650. So that's different on the front of a motorcycle. On the front of the motorcycle, most 99% of the brands, these turn signals will run as parking lights or running lights. Like I say, I hate to use the word parking light. Uh, as running lights along with the headlight. So these will be, you need to buy three wire signal lights because you're gonna have a ground, a running light, which most of the time will be blue, and your hot lead for the turn signal because these will be dual filament bulbs. They have two filaments in them. One is uh, will come on as a driving light and the uh, high power filament will come on with the, uh, the turn signal. Uh, we'll get this uh, finished wiring up and I'll show you that we're installing this uh, LED headlight on this uh, V-Star. And this white that you see around the outside is a faux uh, neon, which acts as turn signals. Uh, now, some states will not allow you to run just those because, uh, I mean, they're fancy and they're cool looking, but you get about 10 feet away from your bike, you're not going to be able to see them because the, the headlight drowns them out. Uh, we'll go back in here to the workbench a little bit, and I'll... Uh, draw out a little schematic for you and we'll show you how to get these uh, wired in so you won't have a, a problem with them. If you're wanting to change out to LED headlight, what you need to do is measure across your headlight bucket and, and that's what you need to order. Uh, you know, basically a same plug-in uh, as you would get for the, for the car some of the LED headlights will come with an extra plug uh, if you've got a different uh, plug-in, which I, maybe some of the modern bikes will have that, uh, I forget what that plug style is called, something German, but I can't remember what it is right now. But most of the bikes that I, I deal with have the traditional plug. And you can see it's, it's plugged in there. The ground is coming into that headlight plug and then you have a pigtail off of that uh, for the ground. Now this would have a plug in where the wire would plug in but uh, on this particular bike that's the ground. We'll tie the ground in off both signal lights and then your left and right uh, turn hot wire for the flashing for the turn signal and there's the blue coming in for the uh, uh, driving light. So 
Let's look at a little piece of paper and make it a little bit easier for you, and I'll draw it out for you. Okay, prepare your eyes for some advanced graphics. All right, we're going to look at, uh, we're going to say this is your bike. We're just going to draw a little stick here. Uh, this would be your seat. Uh, rear. That way front that way all right when you go to look in your bike for the wire and you'll look in the harness we'll do the front first the front you're going to have uh four wires that you're concerned with uh you're going to have a black and that's going to be your ground uh you European guys, Earth, if you want to call it that. Uh, you're going to have a blue. That's going to be your running lights. You're going to have your brown. And that's going to be your left turn. Now when I say left, that's if you're sitting on the bike. This is left. And you're facing forward, that's left, that's right. Uh, green, and obviously that's gonna be your right turn. Now, there could be some variations on these colors. If somebody's got into the, to the bike and, and done some modifications, or uh, you know, if you're, if you're curious about the colors, you can go on to Google and punch in your bike. Uh, you know, if it's a whatever. You know, a Honda 650, punch in Honda 650 turn signal wire and schematic or diagram or even color, and it'll show you. Now, on the back, what you're going to have is you're going to have the turn signals. You're going to have black, and you're going to have, uh, it could be, it could be blue, but... Oh gosh, I'm right in the middle of film and I can't remember the color. Anyway, you're going to have another color. We'll just say it's blue to the back. And that's going to be your tag, light, uh, and running light. And then, of course, you're going to have your uh, brown to the, to the rear. And that's going to be your, uh, again, left turn and green is going to be your right turn like again these colors could be different when you uh, start working on different bikes shut the office door there little my little dog's outside i think he's heard a groundhog now and, and what you're going to do for the front bike for the front of your bike you need three wire turn signals And for the rear, you need two wire turn signals. You can use three wire, but you're only gonna be using two of the three wires. And if you, you're either gonna have a, a, a dim turn signal or, you know, you could wind up, it's just better to buy the two wire and you won't have any confusion. Because of the, on the rear, you're just gonna have uh, a power and a ground and it, you most of the time these tag lights and running lights they're going to be isolated uh, and, and run in a different way a different area they'll either come through the seat and up the inside mouth of the uh, rear fender to where you're not going to come in contact with them if you're just changing out your signal lights your signal lights the wires will be there Pretty close to the signal where you're going to unplug them. Usually, when you uh, take a, a signal light off the rear of a motorcycle and unplug it, it's only going to be about uh, eight to ten inches, uh, you know, long from where it's, where it's going to be plugged in. So that should be pretty easy to find. And a lot of uh, times, somebody will change out their signals and say, "Well, hey, I, I, it's flashing funny now." Well, sometimes. 
if it's flashing funny like real quick uh, it's affecting the draw of power that's on the flasher so if you if you've changed yours out and put say LED lights in the front and left the rear incandescent that can mess up your uh, how much power is pulling through the flasher and it'll cause them to, to flash quicker you know have a weird little uh, flash on it so anyway that's I hope you can blow that up or maybe pause the video and, and be able to decipher what I, I've said there but that should help you get through any issues that you have with your wire and as always my uh, you know post a message here or uh, shoot me a, a you know an email or something like that and uh, I'll try to help you out while I can okie doke Get out there and get to riding. Thanks for watching.